PNDC, also known as PondCoin, is the biggest opportunity in crypto right now after hitting a nearly $100 million market cap in just two days. That's why in this video, I'm going to walk you through the launch of PNDC, why it caused such an uproar, why it's different than any other coin that's ever been launched, where it could be headed in the future, as well as how to buy it safely. So I don't usually make videos like this. However, I've been following this project since before it launched, and I've been following the creator of this project for several months and I do feel comfortable sharing it with you. I've done my own research. Of course, I always recommend that you do your own research and this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Always invest in crypto or anything at your own risk. Personally, in just two days, I've already 10X my initial investment and there is plenty of room to grow in my opinion. And that's why I really wanna share this with you. I have a small community here on YouTube and I really want to provide as much value as possible. And that's the only reason I'm sharing PNDC because I believe it is a huge opportunity, probably the biggest opportunity in crypto right now now. So if that sounds like something that is interesting to you, make sure to watch to the end of this video because again, I will show you how to buy PNDC safely. There is one thing that I know you're not doing that you need to do uh, whenever you buy any crypto, really, you should be doing this to ensure that you're not getting scammed or robbed of your crypto um, by bots. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that later on in this video, but let's get into PNDC. So far, what we know about PNDC is what we can see from the website and from what has already happened. The website itself says PNDC is an ERC-20 token, so it was created on the Ethereum blockchain, and there is a total of 420 trillion tokens that can be mined. And the website also states if you mine Pond, you earn Pepe. Pepe is another cryptocurrency, another ERC-20 token that has been super popular this summer. So the two do coincide somehow. We don't know um, how it's all gonna work out yet, but again, there is a huge opportunity here. So for those of you who may not know how Pond X initially started, the creator of Pond X, his name is Polly. He is a probably the largest crypto influencer on Twitter right now. His real name is Jeremy Cahan. And if you don't know who that is, he and his friend Ryder Rips have an ongoing lawsuit with the largest NFT company in the world, multi-billion dollar company, Yuga Labs, who owns Board Ape Yacht Club, CryptoPunks, MeBits, all those NFTs. They're actually battling in federal court with them. If you wanna look into that, that's a whole nother story. You can just look that up on Google. But he is known for that and he is also known for his involvement in Pepe. He was responsible for getting Pepe listed on Binance. And Polly does claim to be the person who is responsible for getting Pepe to a $1.6 billion market cap. Also, I'll make sure to leave all the official links to Polly 0 x his official Twitter account, as well as his personal account, and the Pond 0 x account in the description below. So make sure to click on those links because there are so many fake profiles uh, with this launch and with Polly being who he is, there are a ton of profiles that are just completely fake and scam. So you have to be careful. So I will leave the official links below. So not only is Polly involved in this lawsuit and responsible for growing Pepe to what it has become today, but he has also been exposing all of your favorite crypto influencers for what they really are, which are greedy scammers, they're grifters. They're taking advantage of their huge following just to make a quick dollar and you know, most, I didn't even know this before I started following Polly and he has been exposing everyone. And, you know, of course they don't like that, but he's pretty much taken all of the attention from those influencers and it is now on him. A lot of people love Polly, some people hate him. Um, you know, I'll leave that up to you to decide, but ultimately, that doesn't change what I think and how I feel about this project, PondCoin. So Polly did decide to launch his own project, this PondCoin project, and to make it easier to kind of follow and to make it really exciting, he is launching it in chapters. So obviously it started with chapter one. So let me explain how chapter one went down and why it caused such a huge uproar in the crypto community. Such a big uproar that there were, you know, all the major media outlets were reporting that the coin was a scam. And if you watch any other YouTube videos, they all say that um, this other coin that is associated with PondCoin was a scam, really because they just didn't wait long enough for the next chapter to see what was coming next. But let's get into chapter one before we get into all of that. So chapter one is the mining stage. This has already happened. It's already over. 
Um, at least that initial mine is already over. And Polly kept tweeting, greed kills and speed kills. So when this initial token launched, this isn't PN, PNDC was not the initial token that launched, it was PNDX. And when this token launched, Polly sent out a tweet with the contract address as well as the website. Now, what a lot of people did was took the contract address, went to Uniswap, put it into Uniswap, and tried to front run everyone because the website was so busy. They tried to front run everyone by going to Uniswap and buying the coin. And that is not what you were supposed to do. What you were supposed to do is go to the website, and if you wanted to mine the token, you could. If not, then that's great too. But what you weren't supposed to do was go to Uniswap and try to front run everyone. Now there was a big issue with PNDX, which was again, the coin that came before PNDC is all part of the same project. But what people began to discover quickly after this launch is that the PNDX token contract had something in there that basically allowed anyone to transfer the PNDX token out of your wallet. To be clear, that was the only access it gave. You couldn't transfer like someone else's coins out of their wallet. Only PNDX was a coin that could be transferred. I had, you know, billions of PNX coins uh, transferred out of my wallet. And if you hadn't been paying attention to what Polly was saying, that greed kills, speed kills, um, then you were probably freaking out when this happened. Personally, I was completely calm and I knew it was all a part of Polly's grand scheme of things, but you know, all the media outlets, YouTubers, and some influencers wanted to highlight this. They wanted to get the story out. They wanted the attention on them. So they said that Polly launched this coin and it was a huge scam. A few hours after the initial launch, Polly did come out with a tweet to clear things up, stating that that was intentional. The function where it allowed people to send the PNDX tokens out of other people's wallet was intentional and it was to expose bad actors. So people that were sending those tokens out also the people who bought on Uniswap, they were all exposed. And here is kind of how it plays into chapter two. So here's how chapter two played out. Chapter two was the claim period. This period has already ended at least the initial claim. Who knows that there will be another claim, that's always a possibility. But the initial chapter two claim is already ended just to be clear. So this is how it worked. Everyone who went and bought the PNDX token, whether you bought it from the website or using Uniswap was rewarded by being able to claim the official P and DC token, but everyone couldn't claim at the same time. So what Polly did was send out a tweet. He asked the community, how long do you want the claim period to be? There, the option was you know, anywhere from 48 hours to up to 10 days, I think was a max. And the community voted that they wanted a 48 hour claim window. So how that went is if you were the first one to buy the PNDX token on the website, then you were the first ones who were able to claim the official PNDC token. So, you know, let's say, I think there was almost 10,000 people who went and bought the PNDX token on the website. So those, 10,000 people were the first who were able to claim the official PNDC token. There was a timer on the website that started counting down. So, you know, at the 48 hour mark, which it didn't actually start on 48 hours, but it was close. Um, so the first person who bought the coin was able to claim first and then second, third, fourth. I think I was like somewhere in the thousand range. So I wasn't able to claim for a few hours after the claim period opened. And the people who were last to claim were the ones who front run the Uniswap and who try to buy on Uniswap, they were the ones who were last to claim because, well, basically they were exposed as trying to, you know, cut ahead of the line. So as their punishment, they were able to claim last. So what is the benefit of being able to claim first? Well, if you claim first, then potentially you have more room for profit because as more people claimed and as more people bought in, the value of the token continued to rise. So obviously, if you're the first to claim, if you're the first to get PNDC, then you're getting in at a lower market cap versus someone who got in, you know, after the 10,000 person claim their token, the market cap is a lot higher. So you're getting less coins. Now, again, this really depends on um, if you actually mined or if you were just going to Uniswap and buying PNDC, because once the claim period opened, you know, people did start buying PNDC from Uniswap. And again, if you were able to claim, then you're getting it at a lower price. And as the value of the coin continued to rise, 
then you're paying more and more to get less P and DC. So really, the people who did everything correctly were able to get in earlier so that they can get a better deal on the PNDC coin. Now, here is where a lot of people are having the issue with the initial launch of this coin, and they're blaming Polly for posting the contract address, and then they're not taking any accountability that they went to Uniswap. And here's what a lot of people did, is they went to Uniswap, and I'm talking about chapter one, when people initially purchased PNDX. The ones who purchased it through Uniswap then turn around and sell their coins. So people bought $1,000 worth of PNDX and then they tried to sell it on Uniswap. However, there was zero liquidity. So there was literally a 99.9% .9 price impact. So they lost all of their money. So the argument is, well, Polly shouldn't have posted the contract address because it's such a common thing to take contract address in the crypto community and go to Uniswap and buy the coin. However, Polly never said to do that. Um, he was posting the contract address so that you could verify what was the authentic address when you went to um, research the coin. So you can, you know, DYOR and so that you knew you were at the correct website and purchasing the correct coin because it does list the contract address at the bottom of the official website. That way you could double check it. It's not Polly's fault that you went to Uniswap, bought the coin, and then sold it for a 99.9% .9 loss. So here is where PondCoin PNDC sits today. Of course, this is changing by the second, but this is just to, uh, you know, I'm just putting it in the books right now. PondCoin is a top 100 cryptocurrency in the world. It's a the number one decentralized crypto asset, uh, of course, behind Ethereum and the stable coins. The Pond, Zero X website has had over 250,000 unique visitors since it, since it launched, which was just like a week ago. And it is currently sitting at around an $80 million market cap. And guys, this is only literally two and a half days old and it's already at an $80 million market cap. Um, the only other crypto that is that was that insane is Pepe, which hit the $1.6 billion in 90 days. And I wouldn't be surprised if PNDC were to do something similar. Um, so, you know, that's not financial advice again, but uh, what I'm saying is it is possible. There is so much room to grow with PNDC. We're just getting started just two and a half days in, nearly a hundred million dollar market cap. And um, yeah, next we're just waiting for chapter three. Chapter three is spawn. So of course we don't know what this is, only Polly knows. So everything I'm saying from here on um, has not happened. It's just speculation. But what a lot of people are thinking is the spawn period will be um, somehow where holders of PNDC will be able to claim um, Pepe, the other cryptocurrency, um, something like that. Not 100% sure, but that is, I feel like the general assumption in the community right now is it does have something to do with Pepe and maybe claiming it or just starting to get rewards for holding PNDC. Also, um, yeah, PNDC has been has been pumping. Earlier today was at like, I think 96 or 98 million dollar market cap. So, I mean, there's just so much room to grow. And again, that's why I'm telling you this right now today because things move fast in crypto. And if you wanna get in early, it's still early. I mean, we're still under a hundred million dollar market cap. And if it's anything like Pepe, it could still 10X from here or even more. So if it is something you wanna look into, then definitely do your own research, do it, um, you know, do your due diligence, but do it quickly because things move fast. And if you decide that you do wanna buy PNDC, I'm going to show you how to buy it right now. I'm gonna buy it right here on this video. And again, I'm going to show you how to avoid the MEV bots, MEV bots, which are bots that can basically take a portion of your crypto when you're transacting on the blockchain. I don't know exactly how this works, I just know that it happens and um, it's not good. But if you do what I'm about to show you, then you can completely avoid the MEV bots and ensure that you're transacting securely. All right, now a couple things before you buy PNDC. First, you obviously have to have some crypto in your wallet to buy it. So whether that's ETH or wrapped ETH, whatever it may be, you're gonna need some crypto. Second, we want to add Flashbots RPC to our wallet. Um, I'm gonna do this on MetaMask. So this will, so this is Kenobi right here. He is a developer. Um, 
So let's see, when you add the Flashbot RPC to MetaMask, your transactions will skip the public meme pool where sandwich mevbots wait to attack. Instead, your transactions will be sent directly to miners using the Flashbot network. So this way you avoid these mevbots that are, like you said, sitting and waiting to attack. He has this really good breakdown right here of how to add that to your wallet. So I'm going to show you how to do that on MetaMask. So open up your MetaMask wallet, and then you're gonna click on the little icon right here, and we're gonna click Add Network. Scroll down. And you'll scroll and down, you'll and you'll hit Add, add manually. Network manually. And now I need to go back to this because I need to look at it. So we'll call it uh, Flashbots RPC. And then we have to enter the, so that's the network name. Now we need the RPC URL, which is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash RPC dot flashbots dot net. Put that in. Uh, RPC dot flashbots dot net. Chain ID is one. Currency symbol, you want it to be ETH, because that's the network that we're transacting on. And then Ethereum's blockchain explorer is Etherscan. So we're going to go ahead and put Etherscan in as the block explorer. So you should have the network name, Flashbots RPC, the RPC URL, which is HTTPS um, colon forward slash forward slash RPC dot flashbots dot net, chain ID one, currency symbol ETH, and then the block explorer URL, etherscan.io, and then we're going to hit save. And you wanna make sure that you're using the Flashbots RPC to transact. So I'm gonna make sure, if it doesn't ask you to switch, then you just go up here and you click on the Flashbots RPC. So you're still gonna be transacting on the Ethereum mainnet, you're just skipping um, the mebbots basically, so they can't attack you. Now what you wanna do is go to uniswap.org, and launch the app. And while you're waiting for that to load, head over to pond0x.com and you're gonna go down here. This is the contract address. You wanna make sure you're using the official contract address to ensure that you're buying the actual coin. And then what I'm going to do is copy the address and go back to Uniswap and I'm going to pay using wrapped ETH. All right, it has fetched the best price. Here you can see I'm going to pay 0.3 wrapped ETH, which is $546. And I'm going to receive, uh, what is that? 229 million PNDC. Go ahead and hit swap. And then of course you're going to have to confirm this on your wallet. Now if the network is busy, I usually like to do the aggressive, because otherwise, if you don't choose aggressive or you choose the lowest, the lowest one, uh, your transaction may never go through or it could take a really long time. So I always like to choose the most aggressive. That way I know my transaction is going to go through. And the swap has been approved. All right, now since you do not have any PNDC in your wallet before this transaction, after you buy it, you won't see it in your wallet and that's because you need to import the token into your MetaMask wallet just to see it displayed in your wallet. It is in your wallet on the blockchain, but to see it physically on your wallet, you need to import the token. So again, you want, make sure you have the contract address, which is the one we pulled from the website. And then you're gonna open up your MetaMask wallet or whichever wallet you're using and you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna scroll and down you and you hit token. import token and then you're gonna to go to and then you're gonna go to custom token and just paste, just in, paste the in the address now for me now for me PNDC, i've already added pndc um, but if you don't um, you'll, you'll paste this in and, and everything should be, should be filled in automatically the token symbol and and the token and decimal and, and then you just hit add custom token and then you're good to go and you'll be able to view your pndc balance which you'll see right here and it's really that simple. And you weren't attacked by the MevBots. So 
Good job, you're doing it better than 99% of people who buy crypto. Now, if you wanted to sell your PNDC token, maybe you wanna take some profit, you just go back to Uniswap and this time PNDC will be at the top and you can exchange it for ETH or whichever currency you want to exchange it for. And if you wanted to cash that out, you would send your ETH to a crypto exchange and then you would turn that into fiat money and send it to your bank and you're all good to go. Again, the reason I'm posting a video like this is because this is a huge opportunity. I don't want you to miss out on it. I really appreciate everyone who uh, who follows me and is you know supporting me in my journey and I really wanna provide value and give back to you. And that is why I'm sharing PNDC with you. As you just saw, I mean, I just put more money into PNDC. Um, of course, like I said, always do your own research. Don't take my advice, don't buy just because I'm buying. I'm giving you the tools and everything you need to go and do your own research. And if you decide that you wanna buy, you know how to buy it safely now as well. But again, I do encourage you, look into PNDC, study it, go follow. Polly, Jeremy, the Pond account, go follow all those accounts and you know, just start learning if anything, even if you don't wanna buy anything, just follow these accounts and start learning about things. Again, this whole project is still brand new. There are still a bunch of developments that are yet to come out. Um, so it's really exciting and uh, I'm really looking forward to everything. I'll share any updates that come along. Of course, the Spawn will be coming out soon and I'll share that. If you have any specific questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments. No guarantees I'll be able to answer all of them because I only know what I know. There is still a lot that is unknown about PNDC and the entire project. But like I said, uh, make sure to look in my community tab. I do post a lot of updates there. Give me a follow, like the video, share this with people, share this with your friends if they're into crypto, or even if they're not, this is a great opportunity to get in and potentially make some huge gains and learn a ton while you're at it. As always, thanks for hanging out with me. See you next time.